hi and welcome to my second video aimed at the entry level looking at methods we need to use when we are answering questions on money. In this video particularly we are looking at rounding and estimating. Hope you enjoy. <music> Something that you might be asked uh, when working with money is to round an amount of money to the nearest pound. So let's have a look at how we do that. Let's start with, say, the amount of £3.85. And we are being told to round to the nearest pound. The way that we do this is to look at the amount of pence. And we have a rule. If the amount of pence is 50p or more, then we round the amount up to the next pound. If it is less than 50p, then we do the opposite. We round the amount down to the nearest pound. So what do I mean? Well, let's have a look at this £3.85. We look at the pence here. It's 85p. That is more than 50p. Therefore, this one has to round up and it would go up to the next pound, which would be four pound. On the other hand, if we look at this amount, six pounds 37, again, we look at the pence here. It's less than 50p, so in this case, we have to round down, and if we round down from six pound 37, the next round pound is six. So because the top one had more than 50p, it went from 385 up to £4. Because the bottom one had less than 50 pence, it rounded down to £6. Similarly, we might be asked to round an amount to the nearest 10 pence. This works in very much the same way as rounding to the nearest pound, but we have to look at a different number. Let's have a look at £3.00. 77. This time, rather than rounding to the nearest pound, we are going to the nearest 10 pence. So the 70 here is the 10 pence. What we have to do is look at the very last number. And the rule this time, if it is 5p or more, then we round up. If it is less than 5p, then we have to round down. So very similar to before, but this time rather than it being 50p, it's 5p. So in this case, we have £3.77. We are looking to round it to the nearest 10 pence. So we look at the very last number. It is 7p. It is 5 pence or more. Therefore, this one is going to be rounded up. And in this case, we round it to £3.80. 80 pence to the nearest 10 pence. Let's have a look at another amount. Let's use £4.54. Again, rounding to the nearest 10 pence, we look at the very last number here. In this case, it's a 4. It is less than 5p, so this one is going to have to be rounded down and it becomes to the nearest 10 pence four pounds fifty pence so look at the last digit if it's five pence or more we go up to the next 10p if it's less than 5p we go down to the nearest 10p sometimes being able to round to the nearest pound or 10 pence actually makes things easier for us because there are questions when we are asked to estimate an answer now, estimate means we still have to use maths, it's not a guess, but we can round amounts to find our answer. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say we are in a shop and we buy three items, and the first of those items is £7.85. Then we buy something for £3.26, and the last item we buy is £2.55. Rather than adding them all up, which is quite a complicated sum, we are being asked to find an estimate of the total. So, in order to estimate, 
we use the rules of rounding that we've just talked about. So with each of these amounts, we round, and in this case, we will do it to the nearest pound. So £7.85, the pence here is higher than 50p, so we are going to round that up to £8. £3.26, the pence are 26p, that's less than 50 pence, so that one would round down to £3. The last item we've purchased is £2.55, it is again higher than 50p, therefore that would round up to £3. So that now, when we are adding the sums, it's considerably simpler than it might have been. 8 plus 3 is 11, plus 3 is 14, the answer for our estimate is £14. It's not the exact answer, but we're being asked for an estimate, therefore it's absolutely fine. Well, I hope you found that useful. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and have a look at some of my other videos. I'll post one of them to the side here. Thank you.